Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Kristen here. I can't wait to paint these puppies with you. We have four different breeds. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to be reminded when our videos go live. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Well, as I hop into our first dog, I totally forgot to split our paper into four sections. So you're definitely going to want to do that first, guys. Uh, just measure the length of one side, split it in half, and split your page and do it the same on the other side. You guys can do it. And then follow along with me. The first dog we're going to start with is a Frenchie. Make sure to stick around. I have tons of fun facts about them. Did you know that Frenchies were bred to be great companions? They're very affectionate and love to be with people. They're even known to be a talkative breed. They love talking to their humans. Another interesting fact is most dogs can swim, but Frenchies can't and they really hate flying. It's a big problem. All right, I have one last fun fact for you. Did you know that Frenchies are sensitive to criticism? Yep, if you scold a French bulldog, it might take it very seriously and mope around the house. How silly. Awesome job, guys. I think you came out so cute. Now it's time to move on to our golden lab. All right, once again, while you guys follow along, I have a bunch of fun facts for you. Did you know that the Golden Lab is America's favorite breed? And wait till you hear these fun facts. You'll really learn why. Oh yeah, and here I go, dividing my page. Hopefully you guys did that already. Did you know that Golden Retrievers are super fast? They can hit up to 12 miles an hour in just a matter of three seconds. And another fun one that I love is, did you know that in each litter, you could get all three colors, brown, black, or golden? I love that. And this last one's pretty silly. Did you know that one lab went to jail and one became the mayor, or at least the honorary mayor? So the pup that went to jail, his name was Pep. I guess he went to jail because he killed the governor's wife's cat. Whoops. He got life without parole. He did about 10 years of hard time, during the course of which he became good friends, though, with the warden. Although it sounds like an urban legend, prison records support the story. And just like that, we're ready for a new puppy. This cheeky little terrier has got a personality big enough to match 10 other dogs. With a sharp bark, this breed and makes being for so the perfect size, guard dog. Makes them experts Even at though burrow they're and funnily size, enough, they love to dig holes. Because they're small and they're determined little dogs. They love to jam themselves into tiny little places. Sometimes so little, they get stuck and their owners have to pull them out. So funny. This is actually kind of a cool fact. Did you know that their white fur is like their armor? A Westie's snow white fur keeps them safe during hunts. Their fur sticks out like a sore thumb, ensuring that they won't be accidentally mistaken for another animal. And even though these dogs started out as hunters, they are now cuddlers. And they are a cuddly breed that loves to snuggle with you. I'm ready for some snuggle time. How about you? All right, last up Corgi. I love corgis. They're so cute. Follow along the best you can. Do you know what don't corgi forget, means? I'll have some fun facts. Or stands for? I guess it stands for and dwarf dog. little legs. I wonder if that's they weigh about such 12 little inches legs. in height. Oh, they're so little. And they weigh about Though 30 pounds. Though you may not realize it by their size, corgis are actually herding dogs. In and fact, of course, if the you have a corgi at home, you may have noticed their heel nipping instinct has come up, especially if they see you running. No fear, corgis can be. Corgis? <laughs> corgis can be trained out of this habit, especially if you start them young. And last but not least, given their extreme intelligence, they have a lot to communicate. And as opposed to some other breeds that may whine or howl, car... Why can't I say corgi? Corgis will bark to get their point across. All right, guys, these came out awesome. Now it's time to paint. Let's get out all our colors, brushes, 
and everything like that. And ready, set, go. Awesome. All right, we're ready to start our lesson on how to paint our doggies in. Yay. All right. First up is the Frenchie. This guy's just black and white, so we're gonna make it nice and easy for you. Oh, and I'm gonna speed it up from here, guys. Just follow along the best you can. And while you're working on that, of course I have more fun facts for you. But now, it'll be just general facts about dogs. Did you know that dogs have a sense of time? It's been proven that they know the difference between an hour and five. If conditioned to, they can predict future events, such as regular walk times. All right, this Frenchie is really starting to come together. Did you know your dog is as smart as a two-year-old? Ever wonder why children around this age seem to have a special bond with the family dog? It could be because they speak the same language, roughly 250 words and gestures, in fact. Dogs are really good at picking up on emotions as well. They can be so good at picking up on emotion, they get jealous. When they see you display affection for another creature, there's something inside of them that makes them a little sad. Aww. Did you know that the United States has the highest pet dog population in the world? Approximately 75.8 million dogs, in fact. This fact kind of blows my mind. Did you know that stray dogs in Russia have learned how to ride the complex subway system? They get off at specific stops in search for food. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> This fun fact might actually come in handy. Do you have a dog that experiences separation anxiety? If so, try leaving some clothes with your pup that you've worn. It's been proven that the scent you leave behind on your clothes can help ease your dog's separation anxiety. All right, this one's actually scientific. Did you know when your dog is carefully choosing the perfect place to do his or her business, it's because they prefer to go poop in alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. Wow, I had no idea dogs were that in tuned. All right, and here's the last one. You know those really scary spiky collars some dogs wear? Well, those collars were originally fashioned in ancient Greece to protect dogs' throats from wolf attacks. So they actually served a purpose, not just to look scary. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Look at our awesome pups. I think they came out great. How about you? I hope you had fun painting them with me today. And remember, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to be reminded when our videos go live. All right, guys. I hope to see you in the next one and definitely keep checking back for more. Bye.